So I bought this device recently. Uh, it's a Blackmagic Design Radeon 580 Pro eGPU. In other words, a laptop graphics accelerator. Um, it also kind of acts a bit like a um, docking station for your laptop when you plug it in. It needs to uh, be plugged into a Thunderbolt 3 port on a laptop, so you need to make sure that your laptop's got one of those. Um, so you get extra USB ports. You can plug it directly into a external monitor, um, and that can improve the performance of the graphics even more than when you use this to accelerate the internal display on your laptop. Um, and you've got two Thunderbolt ports, Thunderbolt 3 ports, one to plug it into your computer and one to, um, if you want to daisy chain under other uh, Thunderbolt 3 devices, you have to plug this into the mains with a standard kettle lead. Also, it can apparently uh, power your laptop if your laptop uses 85 watts or less. So if that's the case, when you plug it in via the Thunderbolt 3 port, you don't actually have to uh, plug in your normal charger. So I'll just tell you a little bit about why I decided to buy this. So, um, a few months ago, I decided to kind of downsize or downgrade my laptop because um, when I finished work, uh, well, just before I finished work uh, a, a few years ago, I decided to buy quite a good laptop so it would be future proof. So I paid, I think, £1,500 for an ASUS gaming laptop but I've got a gaming desktop PC and I don't really play games that much anyway um, so I didn't really use it and it was just gathering dust and a few months ago I decided I'm just going to sell it so I sold it I only got about £600 for it complete waste of money really um, but I did I did want a laptop so I decided to buy one of these cheap ex-business laptops you find on eBay so I got a Lenovo, I think it's a T480S um, for um, £125. I'll show you the laptop a little bit later. Um, and then I had that for a bit and I thought oh, it would be quite nice to maybe play the odd game on it. Um, so I started looking around for eGPUs and... It didn't really seem worthwhile in the end because I was going to end up spending a few hundred pounds on an eGPU. But then I started seeing these things, the Blackmagic Design uh, eGPU, uh, for very low prices. Um, I got that one for, I think, £96, including delivery. Uh, and there's a lot for sale. A lot have been sold. Um, so I was kind of intrigued. And I started looking into the history of it. It came out in 2019 and it was originally marketed exclusively to Apple MacBook users. Um, and for the frankly, you know, absolutely ridiculous price of £799. And I watched quite a few reviews about it on YouTube. And whilst they said that, you know, it's got a really amazing sleek design in you know aluminium um and it's like really stunning looking and also it got praised for the fact that it's absolutely whisper quiet you know if you don't like the fan noise either from your laptop or from a, a, an eGPU it's absolutely brilliant but what they did say is it was absolutely rubbish for accelerating graphics um and a lot of people complained and said that the only thing it actually uh, accelerates is Blackmagic Design's own software, such as DaVinci Resolve, the video editing package. Um, and I don't know, I, I found this a bit odd because in my experience, if you've got a better graphics card, it tends to improve performance pretty much across the board. So. I started sort of looking into it and um, there was quite a bit of confusion online about whether it even worked with a Windows laptop. Um, a few people said it did, a few people said it didn't. Um, and 
anyway, I decided to take a punt on it. I bought it on eBay, £96, like I said. So that and the laptop together came to £225. Um, so from the sale of the expensive laptop, I still had like, um, you know, nearly £400 left over. And um, yeah, so it does work. It does work on Windows. Um, don't follow. If you are interested in buying one of these and getting hold of one, um, don't follow the instructions that you'll find online on Reddit, for example. Have a look in the description of this video and I'll show you exactly how to install it in the best way. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you my laptop now and how I've got it uh, set up with it. And then we'll get onto some benchmarks and I'll show you how much it actually does improve the performance. So yeah, here's the laptop. It is a Lenovo uh, T480S ThinkPad. Uh, it is actually running Windows 11 Pro. I thought it was Windows 10, but it's not. It's got an uh, Intel Core i7-8650U. And you can see there it's got the two display adapters. It's got the integrated Intel UHD Graphics 620 and then it's also got the Radeon Pro 580 as in the Blackmagic design thing which I've just got tucked under my desk at the moment. So we'll get onto some benchmarks. So on Geekbench 5 we've got a score of 5015 on the Intel integrated graphics. Feel free to pause it if you want to see the detail. Um, and on the eGPU, Blackmagic, we got a score of 32,640, which I think you'll agree is quite a big difference. Uh, this is this is 3D Mark. Um, I'm just going to show a little bit of the benchmark video. I'm not going to show all of it. It's just really an indication. I wouldn't pay too much attention to the frames per second because the video recording software, um, the screen recording software, OBS, interfered with the frame rates, um, especially with the integrated graphics. All of the final benchmark figures I'm going to show you are without any screen recording or any background software running. So this is the eGPU uh, now, obviously. And on the Intel integrated laptop graphics, we scored 286. And on the Blackmagic eGPU, 886. And on an external monitor, with the eGPU, it went up a tiny bit to 888. This is Passmark now um, on the Intel integrated graphics. Again, don't pay too much attention to the, um, the video. It's just an indication, really. It wasn't quite this bad, although it did grind to a halt at various times. And this is on the eGPU. So we got a score of 1,264 on the laptops, integrated Intel graphics, 4,731 on the eGPU on the internal display, and 5,940 with the Blackmagic eGPU on an external display. Uh, this is Grand Theft Auto 5 Remastered on the integrated Intel graphics. This is just uh, running the built-in benchmark video for the game. 
and the same thing for the Blackmagic eGPU. The final benchmarks I'm going to give you are for the in-game uh, performance, not the benchmark video. So in game for the integrated graphics, it was running at around an average of 15 frames per second. With the Blackmagic eGPU, it was stable at 60 frames per second. I think that's V-Sync, so <clears throat> it was just running at the maximum frame rate at all times. This is Rise of the Tomb Raider on the integrated graphics. And on the eGPU, I forgot to put the frame rate counter on on this uh, video capture. It was actually um, the outdoor scenes in this actually ran a little bit slower than the indoor scenes, but you can see how much better it is. So it was probably an average of about eight frames per second on the integrated graphics and around 50, maybe a little bit more, on the um, Blackmagic eGPU. So, playable, and that was just on the game's default settings, which were set fairly high. You could probably, um, you know, get that to be um, 60 frames a second with a little bit of lowering the settings. So, I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have and found it informative, please uh, consider liking and subscribing to help me uh, stay motivated for making videos in future. Thanks a lot and see you next time. Bye.